Oi, tudo bem? Eu me chamo Tamara and this is my week three update for learning Brazilian Portuguese. So as I mentioned last week, I was sick, so I didn't make a whole lot of progress, but this week I got back on track and I'm really excited that I had my first italki session uh, with a Portuguese tutor. So that was really, really helpful. Um, I got a lot of tips on pronunciation and just a new vocabulary. So I did a session um, with one tutor for an hour and then I did another half hour session um, to practice conversation. So I'm gonna continue with the hour long sessions every week um, to just continue to practice um, speaking so that I kind of get rid of some of my, my bad uh, habits, so to speak, before they, they start. So one of the main things is um, I'm tempted to use Spanish pronunciation a lot um, because I, I just know a lot more Spanish than Portuguese. So um, because a lot of the words are similar, I still tend to mix them up a little bit and I'm told that's normal. So not too worried about it, but I know I need to practice more so that I don't continue to, to kind of mix them up. So italki is a great resource if you want to learn any language really, but for Portuguese, um, when you search for an instructor, you can actually look at the area, um, well first the country that they're from, and then the city that they're from, which is important if you're trying to hone in on a specific accent. Um, so I've been looking for tutors that are in that area closer to um, Rio de Janeiro. So that is something that um, I would definitely recommend and for any language that you're learning if for instance you're learning Spanish and you're looking for um, a tutor from Argentina because you're interested in visiting Argentina um, you can easily do that on the italki site um, I actually have another video um, and I'll actually link it here in the description um, I have another video that walks through how to use italki to book a session with a tutor and also how to narrow the search so that you can find a tutor from a specific region for a particular type of dialect or accent I have also been listening to the Tafaladu podcast and it's been really helpful with the differences and similarities between Spanish, English, and Portuguese. So the insights I've gotten from that have also been really helpful. Um, but it's a lot that I have to keep in mind while I'm speaking and while I'm still studying. Um, I actually have also read a little bit of the introduction to the um, Dirty Portuguese book, which like I mentioned before, it's, it's a pronunciation guide. Um, for reading so that's helpful as well I'm learning a little little by little um, just the different rules for pronouncing um, vowel sounds and different letters in, in Portuguese um, I find it very similar to English in the number of exceptions there are to the rule for how to pronounce different words so um, it's a lot to learn but I'm, I'm doing little by little just so I can pick up some basic vocabulary I'm also back on track with Pimsleur so I am actually almost finished with the first part of the beginner series. Um, so it's the beginners 1A, I'm almost finished that. So I've been listening to that again every day. Um, I've also incorporated another new resource that I'm really starting to like. Um, so I mentioned before that I had Rocket Portuguese. So um, I've actually been on the road a little bit and I'm actually here in Miami right now. So I didn't have my Pimsleur CDs listened to in the car. So because I'm sort of um, mobile right now, I just um, downloaded the Rocket Languages app and I was able to load up all of the beginner Portuguese um, premium lessons that they have there. And I immediately noticed one big difference between Pimsleur and Rocket Languages. Um, now they're both very similar in that you have to repeat after phrases and they sort of walk you through a role play conversation so that you have to repeat the phrases in response to the speaker on the audio program. Now the difference is the accent. Um, so I've been picking up on this a little bit on the differences in accents in Brazil. Um, I know that there are differences between Portuguese um, in Portugal and Portuguese in Brazil, but there's also lots of different accents within Brazil. So it seems that the speakers from the Pimsleur program have maybe an accent from Sao Paulo or another area of Brazil because there's a male and female speaker. And even between the two of them, I noticed some slight pronunciation differences in the Pimsleur program. Now, Rocket Languages actually uses a native speaker from um, Rio de Janeiro, so I can really hear the difference. Um, and one thing I've noticed so far, just in saying um, the verb um, I am, right, or to be, in the first person, which is I am, um, is estou. But um, speakers from Rio de Janeiro say estou, 
esto and instead of portuguese they say portuguese so there's kind of like the sh, sh, sh sound um um for a lot of the s sounds in that accent so i'm actually starting to listen to that more because i will be spending some time in rio so i want to um learn more about that accent from that area so that's been really great with the rocket languages program so that is one thing i've noticed so if you're studying portuguese or thinking about studying and you want to focus on a particular accent if you're interested in the in the accent from Rio de Janeiro, then I would say test out rocket languages. It might be exactly what you're looking for. Okay, now I'm going to say just a little something in Portuguese. Um, Oi, tudo bem? Um, meu nome é Tamara e eu falo um pouco de português, mas não muito. E eu quero aprender mais português no Brasil. Um, eu vou... Uh, para aulas de português no Brasil e também eu vou a um, eu vou para Carnaval em, no um, Rio de Janeiro. So that's it for for today. I'm really excited about next week. I'm actually going to be attending the um, an event called the World Languages Cafe, which is actually a local event where they bring together people from. Um, all over that speak any language so it's sort of like a polyglot dream so you can practice almost any language so this is going to be um, my time to focus on um, Portuguese speaking practice in person instead of just with an italki tutor so I'm really excited about that um, and there's a Spanish table there so I'm gonna have to go past the Spanish table and focus on just Portuguese so um, I'm really excited about that and I'm hoping to get some sort of in-person practice with native speakers of Portuguese so that's it for now until next week um, ciao, até logo.